there were a few versions of the Streamalina, Streamalinia in the uh, book here, and some options on the actual hull, two different hulls here. So there was some variation. I think that one is the electric version with the steam plant and one is the steam plant version. I'm not too sure, but I'd have to confirm that. But this guy basically copied the plans back in the day, I think. It's pretty much proportionally exact to the Streamalina drawings here, after checking. <laughs> it must have been a very popular boat back in the day. Probably an excellent performer. And there's the guys uh, hand carving them at the factory, I would assume. And freeze it and read this probably. So I'll be backing this up on the internet as an archive. It's a difficult book to find, I think. extensive article on it in this book. Excellent tips and details. a Bowman style boat here so there's all the pages on the Streamalinia and to think that guys worked in factories with fedoras on that's just crazy but he's the pinstriper so obviously an artist uh, would have been a fascinating place to work probably boring after the first few boats but still a fascinating place to work uh, the Bassett Little Factory in Northampton Well, have a good day guys. I'm gonna get back to finishing the top here and then decide how much to cut out of the middle so that I can create access to the power plant and create a cowl for it. See ya.